Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be return part of an array using the slice method. The slice method returns a copy of a certain elements of an array. It can take two arguments. The first gives the index of where to begin the slice. The second is the index for where to end the slice. And it's non-inclusive. In the, If the arguments are not provided, the default is to start at the beginning of the array through to the end, which is an easy way to make a copy of the entire array. The slice method does not mutate the original array, but returns a new one. Here's an example. So array is equal to uh, the cat, dog, zebra, tiger, zebra. This an individual strings of cat, dog, tiger, zebra. We set the new array is equal to array.slice. So we're going to start at one and we're going to take the next three. Dog, tiger. So new array is equal to dog and tiger. So one to three. Interesting. Zero, one, two, three. Not, so not inclusive. So one and three. So we want to use the slice method in the slice array function to return part of the anim array anim input anim okay given the provided begin slice and end slice indices the function should return an array okay so slice array so right now if we console.log um yeah, uh, we would want to say the, uh, let's let this equal to the result. And so if we console log the result, so what we're doing right now is returning what we are in here. So our slice away, if we were to return howdy, then we would get howdy here. So that's what we're doing. Right now we're able to see our results as we work. Um, so yeah, we want to use the slice method in the slice array. So inside of this function, we want to use slice to return part of the anim array. So the anim array. So let's uh, create a result. Um, let's let the sliced result is equal to, well, we want to return an array, right? So let's return sliced result. Okay, so now we're returning an empty array. Uh, so yeah, already uh, it should return part of the anim array. Method function to return part of the anim array. Given the provided begin slice and end slice indices, the function should return an array. So what we want to do... Okay, so right now anim, input anim, what we're doing is passing in the begin slice is at position 1 and the end slice is at position 3. So well, what happens if we go slice result is equal to anim dot slice okay so if we do that we get an array that's you know it's not what we want right now but it's getting much closer we've got the elements here well what happens if we say uh, begin slice okay so right now we're taking out cat and so we've just got dog tiger zebra um, the, the result should be zero one so we want dog tiger i think dog tiger one three yeah this is it so we want dog and tiger um well if we were to do end slice here that would work um but would that work for this guy as well Uh, yeah, we could do it like that. No, again, we're just slicing out dog and tiger because the, um, no, if we were passing zero and one, that would be cat. Okay, so that does work. If it's one and four, dog, cat, dog, tiger, zebra, ant. Cat, dog, tiger, zebra, ant. If we were to do uh, one and four, Dog, tiger, zebra. Oh, cool. So this is actually what we want to do. I think this will pass the tests. So yeah, we're just... Um, interesting. Why would we do that? Functional program. Return part of an array using the slice method. Um, maybe this is important. Um, variable... Sh oh, okay. This, this is probably something that we want to... This is the important thing that we want to think about here. So console.log. Here we've got our input anim, right? <clears throat> 
This should not, it should be the same. Okay, so this should be the same, right? Uh, and then input, let's say. So right now, now let's say we called splice in here. Now what we're doing is splicing and we're destroying the array. This would be a really, um, th this would be a destructive function because we're changing this um, overall anim array and we don't want to do that. So this is the kind of thing that they're showing. This shows that the input array, even though we're getting the right answer for this specific test, we're kind of destroying the overall functionality of the program because we're altering this anim array, which is, um, which we don't want to alter within a function. And so we want to get rid of that. And so I think that that's what they're kind of trying to teach with these examples. But again, I think that uh, it's really just these two lines of code. You could just say, uh, let's not even create a separate variable and just throw this in there. Um, yeah, this will probably pass the test as well. But we need a console.log the result in order to see. Yeah, and so we're still getting the uh, right answer. So this is actually an even more concise uh, answer to this problem. And yeah, I don't know if there's anything else we can do after that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.